Hello and welcome to a brand new Paris Pickups. This time's episode is a Wii special. You gotta love the Wii. And I've got six Nintendo Wii games to talk about. So we'll start off with Tetris Party Deluxe. Ooh! Recently I've fallen in love with Tetris again. It's such an addictive, enjoyable game. And the game responsible for that was actually not this one but Tetris Worlds on the GameCube. Absolutely loved it, especially in multiplayer, really good fun. So the idea of multiplayer Tetris was really appealing to me. So I thought, gotta get a version of Tetris for Wii. Don't have one yet. This has loads of options and some very unique ones that I've not had a chance to try them all yet. But it's got your typical Tetris, which is lo lovingly presented. I think Hudson worked on this because uh, the Hudson B is seen on a, a floating blimp in the background of one of the levels. So. You know the, it's got a quality developer behind it. The presentation there is top notch. There was really some interesting twists on the Tetris formula. For example, I did one where I had to, it was a little dude inside the Tetris uh, area where the, where the blocks fall, of course. So um, I had to help him up uh, to the very top by using the Tetris pieces to create steps. So in this mode, it clearly went against what Tetris is, making lines. The idea was not to make lines, because uh, the lines would then decrease the height. So you had to play it in a very different way in order to make the guy climb up. And of course, the guy can only climb up one Tetris block at a time. So if it's too high, you won't climb it. So you've really got to think strategically about how you're going to place it. And that is just one of the modes in the game. Uh, there's loads, oh, which I haven't had a chance to try them all, but I'm very lucky very much looking forward to playing more of these and especially in multiplayer mode as well. Uh, next up, I realised I didn't have a fishing game, at least I don't think I've got a fishing game for the Wii. <laughs> Not that I can remember having anyway. So I picked up Fishing Master. This is a game I'm not so wasn't so familiar with actually. I was browsing through um Retro Collect and looking at games that I, I didn't know existed or you know might be of some interest and I found uh, a game entitled Fishing Master looked it up on eBay found it was a very cheap game it's just bought for just under a fiver with postage and yeah it's uh, very good it's sort of like Sega Bass Fishing but with a more cutie, cutesy presentation uh, at the beginning of the game you choose what your character is going to look like and then you choose a dog for him and then you name the character, uh, the dog, you can call it anything you want. Uh, so that's quite fun and it gives you a little map screen where you can negotiate and do different things. There's fishing tournaments you can end or you can just enter or you can just do like practice fishing. Uh, I tried just doing some practice fishing. The, the basics are very easy to pick up and it is, as I say, very similar to how uh, something like Sega Bass Fishing plays. So very accessible, very fun. If you're after something uh, fishing for the Wii, then I think the Sega Bass Fishing is available on the Wii, I'm pretty sure, and there are probably plenty of other fishing games as well. This one, though, is a good one. It's developed by Hudson again, so uh, another quality title. This next game I'm not so sure about. Uh, I bought this on the strengths of its developer. So it's published by Codemasters and developed by Supersonic, who's responsible for the Micro Machines series. This game, as you can see, is called Emergency Mayhem. The idea of this game is you play one of three emergency services and you travel around a map uh, taking care of emergencies. If you choose a fire brigade, like I did in my first playthrough of this, you're um, putting out fires, basically, or, or uh, what would you say, turning off uh, fire hydrants which are uh, exploding with water. They were the two things I had to do as a fire person, and these uh, take the form of little mini games. So you drive around the map, you find a emergency, then you do a mini game, and it's a little bit like Crazy Taxi. You've got an emergency meter. And if you don't do things fast enough, the emergency meter hits uh, red, and then that's it, you know, game over. So you've got to make sure you tackle all the emergencies as quickly as possible, and some of the um, missions are just moving from one part of the city to another, to maybe where there is an emergency, or where you need to move uh, water to another uh, area in order to take care of a fire. But the problem is with the 
negotiating the map I found was that the arrow that points you in the direction of the next emergency doesn't really think about the best way of getting there. You say it will point right through a building, so they, it's not really helping you. Uh, it's helping you work out kind of where the accident is, but it doesn't give you the ro road route round. So that can be quite frustrating. It feels all a bit chaotic, and I didn't feel there was enough variety in the mini games. As I was the fire person, I had a real problem finding anything that wasn't one of two different mini games in the period of time I played it. And both those mini games were pretty pants, to be honest. Uh, the first one, I had to just pump the wheel remote up and down like this. I suggest using two hands for that. Uh, to put out a fire, and the other one uh, was what was the other one? Oh yes, it was twisting a handle to stop the uh, fire hydrant leaking, and that twisting motion was awfully hard for the Wii remote to recognise. I found so yeah, I'm I don't know about this game. I love the concept. I think it's a really strong concept, and uh, the vehicles handle pretty well, but it's awkward with the accelerate and reverse being on. B and A, I think. Uh, it feels odd for Accelerate to be on B and then Reverse to be on A. Maybe the way around would be better. You can probably change it, but... Yeah, it says it boasts over 30 mini games, 4 player. Maybe it's more fun in multiplayer. Uh, and maybe some of the other emergency services are a bit more interesting than the Fire one was, but not a fantastic first impression on this game. Next up we have MotoGP now, I was after a Superbikes or a motorcycling game for the Wii and this seemed to be the only one I could find. Initially, uh, well it takes the franchise, which is a very popular franchise in all formats, and creates a Wii version of that. So, it starts you off with motion controls where you tilt the Wii remote, you only have the Wii remote, and you tilt it left and right to uh, steer. Not a big fan of that. Uh, I never really have been a big fan of motion controls for uh, driving or motorcycle games like this, so I decided to try a different control option, which I found was quite difficult to set up and quite restrictive as well. If you want to just steer with the analog stick, then you have to select an option where all you're doing with the Wii remote itself is changing gear, and I think you do that by thrusting like that. But uh, yeah, I, if you're an automatic, you don't need to change gear anyway, so you're just using the one hand, and then you've got accelerate on C, and you've got brake on Z, and, you know, I just you know, I would prefer one of those controls to be able to put on the other, uh, on the Wii remote. So, yeah, I wasn't so keen on how this played. Visuals aren't anything to shout about. Either it's functional, it's serviceable for what it is, but I feel it could have been a lot better. Uh, there are quite a few options there, so if you are after something for the Wii that is uh, motorcycle related, then this isn't so bad, but there's more fun to be had in maybe playing Mario Kart with the motorbikes. Uh, next game should be that ultimate motorcycle game, that is Nitro Bike, and this is a very arcade style, fast paced uh, motorcycle racing game, off-road, but again, unfortunately, you start off steering with the Wii Remote and there's no option to use another control method on this one. So uh, it's extremely sensitive to control. I had, you can probably see in this gameplay footage, I had immense difficulty actually keeping the bike under control. I was crashing a lot. Uh, it's quite slow. Uh, well, I don't say slow, it is quite fast, but it can get even faster when you uh, accept, uh, use the uh, boost, which you seem to have unlimited supply of. I'm not, no, actually, no. It's uh, if you boost too much, you overheat, like Motorstorm, for instance. So you hold this uh, directional button up or down, I can't remember now, and you get a boost of speed. And I think you've got to use that a lot in the tracks to be able to keep up with the other racers. And uh, yeah, it's very hard when the game gets fast, when it's so sensitive already. But it's very explosive, again, very chaotic. Um, not sure if I'm feeling it though. The graphics are nice, character design's a bit meh. Uh, it's an arcade game, but it's going to take uh, some time to get to grips with, I think. Fast, but I don't know how much fun it is. 
And lastly, you've got Aragorn's Quest. Beautiful looking game on the Wii, this. It is a very accessible, uh, combat-based game, uh, but I haven't had a chance to play a lot of it yet. Uh, beautiful uh, interpretation of the characters, visuals are top notch, nice presentation. Uh, you do initial battle with Aragorn, you find out it's one of the Hobbit kids telling a story. Uh, Frodo Gamgee, who you then play as, uh, son of Samwise, uh, then has to go off on a little task within Hobbiton. And it's a really unique concept and great idea for a game and I assume as you continue you'll hear more stories about Aragorn and get to play those battles but maybe in a different way than they uh, play out in the films or the books of course. And that's it for this episode of Paris Pickups, hope you've enjoyed it. There are still some great games out there I need to play on the Wii. Uh, I do have quite a big collection already but it's nice to find some uh, new ones like those ones there. But as you can see now it's going to be hit and miss when I want to uh, take a chance on a, on a Wii game. Uh, the ones left that I haven't tried, yeah, it's a little bit of a, a gamble. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed the majority of those games, and uh, there's not much else I can think of I actually want to pick up on the Wii. But if I do find anything else, then it'll be surely be featured on another Paris pickup. So uh, thanks again for watching, and until next time, game on!